what's going on guys let's look at this problem right here here this question is asking a square magnetic core has a mean path length of 55 centimeter and a cross-sectional area of 150 centimeter square a 200 turn coil of wire is wrapped around one leg of the core the core is made of a material having the magnetization curve shown below find a part how much current is required to produce 0.012 weber of flux in the core so we are, here we are required to find out the current now let's see how to do that first we have to find out the flux density to do that so to find the flux density we use this formula b is equal to phi divided by a okay phi is given that is 0 0.012 0 0.012 Weber divided by the area area is 15 actually 150 centimeter square to convert this one into meter square we have to multiply by 10 to the power minus 4 so that will give us 0 0.015 meter square and that gives us 0 0.8 Tesla and uh, that's it for this one and magnetizing intensity 0 0.8 tesla let's look at this one 0 0.8 tesla if you know this one the magnetizing intensity at that time at that uh, at that moment when the magnet flux density is 0 0.8 if you know this one down right here you will get 115 so h is 115 ampere turns per meter turns per meter now the next thing is we are going to find out the magnetomotive force that can be calculated using this formula ni or you can use hlc since we have h and the length we are going to use the second one h is 115 115 ampere turns per meter and the length is given right here that's 55 centimeters so in meter 0 0.55 and that gives us 63.25 amperes times turns now here we are asked to find out the current current is i is equal to Magnet of 40 motive force divided by the number of turns. Here, magnet of magnet of motive force we just calculated 63.25 ampere turns divided by 200 turns. That gives us 0 0.316 ampere. Okay, this is A part. Now let's look at the B part. B part is asking what is the core's relative permeability at the current level. Now relative permeability is mu r that's what we are going to find. To find that one out first we had to find out relative permeability is mu 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 r okay mu r is equal to mu over mu naught here we, mu naught is a constant value we can plug it directly but mu we had to find it out to find out the mu we can use this equation mu is equal to b over h b is the this one flux density that's 0 0.8 tesla divided by magnetizing intensity that's 115 115 ampere turns per meter and if you calculate this one you're going to get 0 0.00696 henrys per meter now mu r is relative permeability that is equivalent to mu over mu naught mu is 0 0.00696 henrys per meter divided by mu naught that is four five times 10 to the power of minus 7 henrys per meter and that gives us 
5540 okay this is b part now the c part is what is the reluctance to find out the reluctance we have to use this formula reluctance is equal to magnetomotive force divided by phi now reluctance magnetomotive force we just calculated here six sixty three point two five amperes turns sixty three point two five amperes turns and phi is given that is zero point zero one two weber zero point zero one two weber and that gives us 5,700, 5,270 ampere turns per Weber, turns per Weber, and that's the reluctance. I hope you guys find this video helpful. Thanks for watching. And if you are trying to learn electromechanical system, there are a bunch of videos in my playlist. I hope you guys watched it too. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.